Okay, from the previous video, for example, the I over exaggerated an example where we have three ecosystems with where it's uh, two agro system with pastoralism and nearby you have the Ngorongoro National Park uh, and here you will find four species but lion, zebra, gnu essentially and here also four species but totally different and then if you do uh, basic um, analysis with number of species and biodiversity indexes you cannot see the difference you need to do uh, ordination of your community and then from the previous video now you know how to look uh, a multi-dimensional uh, cloud of dots where each dot are your transects one two three four is the same coming from the agro pastoralism ecosystem one and in multi-dimension it was stressed crushed in two dimension with nmds one and two which uh, that are the best representation we have a nice uh, uh, stress of zero zero eight something like that which is nice it's a good representation of your multi-dimension where each species is a dimension but it, it's crushed in 2d two dimension okay you have that you are, you are happy because you can see that here you have a totally different community of species okay with lions gnu zebra elephant uh, and here you have goat cow and pigs and for my example over exaggerated i added actually here some dogs also in the national park here and here to show to you that dogs are between the two ecosystems it's not a species that can uh, be uh, distinct from both uh, ecosystems agro and national park okay but do you think we can do also analysis of uh, environmental factors yes we can we can with vegan and unvit uh, so uh, I go over there in my example. Okay, uh, let's go here because I don't have my uh, pictures. Uh, I leave the dogs in common and also cow and goats. Of um, I remove the cow. Let's say that the cow is specific to this system, and we'll have goats, pigs. Oh no, pigs also. I want no pigs in my. Savannah. Okay, but we have few species in common dogs. Okay, but here totally different. They are not over there. Let's add some environmental factor. Again, I will over exaggerate it to show you um, the power of this tool. Uh, still in vegan. Uh, so let's do rain, and we'll say that rain is always the same. We'll say it's millimeters of water. Uh, so it will be this here a bit different and here let's say it's uh, same same here let's say um, human human population and here we'll say we, we have a lot a lot of uh, let, let's say that you counted the human you met when you did the transect and here you met five three five four here you met a lot of guys nine nine uh, seven twelve and here zero 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 one a ranger why not and now just by looking at your data you know that you have something here you have a non-environmental factor who can explain here so again, it's over exaggeration just to for you to understand. But at the beginning, before jumping into the analysis, always you have to watch your data and your own brain can do the same as the software, the same, okay, more or less. But always have a look because you will you will find uh, by yourself uh, just by looking the raw data you will find something. So always look at your raw data. Uh, here, let's say that we have a uh, uh, number of camera. <laughs> um, number. So I just do uh, put some random stuff just to show you that nonsense can show something or not. So always be aware about that. Uh, I, I can show you. As I, I have a link of a crazy site showing some crazy correlation. 
very nice with a nice uh, R, uh, nice p value, but they are totally it's a t nonsense. Okay, number of camera, uh, what else? Uh, uh, vegetation index, vegetation index. Voilà, for example, coming from the space, you know, I show it to you in, a, in another video how to do this kind of uh, analysis. So here, let's say there is a lot of uh, a lot of plant. Uh, so good, uh, good index. One, one, uh, zero point nine, uh, zero point nine. Oh no, no, no! I don't want to put some. Uh, decimal, otherwise R won't be happy. So I'll, I'll do random. Two here we have uh, let's say six, uh, six, uh, seven, and uh, six. And here we'll have uh, sixteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen. Here we can see that there is an impact. Uh, with, uh, about vegetation index probably that will discriminate the national park community and the agrosystem community. Okay, what else? What else? What else? Uh, area? Why not? Let's say 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Uh, voilà. Same, same. Okay, so colon 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I save this. I will call it Ngorongoro 4, okay, number 4, and as a text. Again, I, I told you, you can, uh, it's not an obligation to load your data as a text in R, but I'll do the traditional way. Okay. Ooh. Yes, okay, voila. Wow. So now, I return in R. So you recognize the previous uh, script that I used. So here, from the previous video, I load my data. Okay, we check. Oh, I already did it. This is just to choose by yourself the data. Okay, da, 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 da. we can recognize. Now I have my environmental factors. Data frame again. It's only your species. Okay. So co goats, etc. But only the, this matrix, okay? You have to remove the rain, human population, etc. So again, it's column three to ten, okay? Perfect, nice. And now I load again vegan. If I do my ordination using Meta MDS, I will have a good view with a good stress, 0 0.06, which which is. Uh, an excellent representation in a reduced dimension. If I plot it, I will have the same. Let's have a look. Okay, goats, elephants, zebra, gnu, cows, dogs. Uh, the site, it's column two. Now, if I put my standard error around the barry center. I will have that. So here you can see it's quite close, but a bit it's not similar because the co are very different. You have more co there, but they are quite close. And it's because you have this uh, group, this community. We can see it's totally different. There, it's far away in, in the two dimension. Okay, I add the legend. Okay, with breaker teeth method. Okay, now. Let's say ENV, environmental, will be my matrix, which is the, uh, what's the name? It was data. Yeah. So data, and I want column 11 to 15, if I'm correct. Yeah. Let's have a look. Uh, rain, human population, number of camera, vegetation index area. Okay. So if I ask, I call and the fit, environmental fit of my ordination using n, okay, data. I will do this amount of permutation, okay. Let's have a look. Okay, 
good so here you can see which factor environmental factor fits with my dimension nmds1 and nmds2 and here you can see that the vegetation index is a good factor explaining fitting my dimension uh, but also the human population okay uh, which makes sense oh actually the range is not so bad uh, area totally useless and number of camera totally useless okay cool so if, even if you stop here you can write something about which environmental factor explain the difference among your community species community okay but we can even represent that uh, on the figure on the figure so if I I do plot ordination I will have only my dots so I want to keep this this one with the spider and the ellipse so if I plot plot fit um, I have all the factor human population number of camera rain and vegetation okay but I want to remove number of camera which is useless so I ask to plot fit but only with a p-value uh, uh, a, a good p-value a significant p-value okay so here uh, I have to do it again uh, plot track and I will put my spider or oh, spider uh, okay uh, I do the text species and number oh, not nice huh? anyway what I want now it's my environmental factor oh ho but only the significant let's add the legend okay and here we can clearly see that vegetation explain why my point transect point coming from the park okay is so far away from this group okay the vegetation seems to be the, the, the best explanation explaining why I have a totally different population uh, community of species in the park comparatively to uh, the agro system. Okay? But the human population do explain does also explain a bit. And because it's going also uh, north, it explains also the difference, the inter-individual difference among the sites over there among for example this one this one number nine and number eight is probably because eight have a lot of human comparatively to nine or the reverse if we have a look uh, nine na, 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 na. Uh, so human 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 population 12 okay 12 number this number uh, one two three nine okay 12 so 12 from seven so this explain also the difference among uh, transect you did here and transect you did here but you also have a difference uh, it's also an explanation on this axis which is true because if we go here there is almost no human in the national park comparatively to the agro system so it's also an explanation of um, your difference over there. Okay? So it's quite cool because on this figure you have almost everything explaining your, uh, your biosensus. This will explain that here you have a totally, almost a very different community of species in the park because you have zebra, gnu that are totally absent from here. And it's apparently vegetation and human population that explain the, here this difference. Okay? But obviously, maybe there is all the environmental factors that you have to add. But so far, this is also an explanation. I mean, I mean that fits. Not, uh, it's not especially an explanation. It makes sense because you are a biologist, you can explain that. But now on your figure it's only explaining a fit a fitting okay voila so quite cool huh? 
Again, I can give you some uh, other examples if needed. Bye. You turn with your data.